Welcome to Science Tutor. My name is Dejan Edwards and the area of chemistry that we're going through today is organic chemistry. Our topic will be on the reaction of alkenes with common laboratory reagents part 1. And the key points we're going to be discussing through the video are the reaction of alkenes with hydrogen gas under pressure in the presence of nickel metal and the reaction of alkenes with water in the presence of strong acid. A general overview of alkenes is that there are hydrocarbons that possess a multiple bond or bonds present in the carbon chain and those bonds normally are a linkage between two carbon atoms two or more carbon atoms now this the double bond is very reactive and very easy to break because one of the bonds are composed the double bond is weaker than the other and because of this alkenes are known to be a reactive species of hydrocarbons or organic compounds now alkenes can be classed in numerous ways depending on the groups R, the difference in R1, R2 and R3 or R4 R1 to R4 can be carbon atoms linked to other carbon atoms or all the groups can be replaced by H which will give you ethene and this is known as the simplest alkene you can get for simplicity we're going to use ethene as an example ethene reacts with hydrogen gas under pressure in the presence of nickel metal now the reaction of ethene is done on the hydrogen gas with pressure sorry at 150 degrees Celsius so therefore it's done under the presence of hydrogen gas under 20 atmospheres atmosphere is a unit of pressure at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius and the reaction will give ethane Note that originally ethene had four hydrogens in it. Now ethane, now the product, has six hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon atoms. Therefore, this reaction is an addition reaction. And note that ethene is coined unsaturated because it has multiple bonds that join the carbon atoms but ethane is known as saturated because there are single bonds present in the molecule the reaction mechanism is as follows the reaction is carried out or the reaction occurs on the surface of the metal nickel and nickel serves as a catalyst in the reaction right on the nickel surface there are hydrogen atoms and ethene molecule then attach itself to the hydrogen atoms on the surface this is done um, stepwise and once it is done the new product which is ethane departs from the metal and this is the reaction mechanism for ethene or the hydrogenation of ethene under pressure in the presence of nickel metal and this reaction goes for all alkenes right this is the this is the general mechanism for all alkenes the next reaction we'll be going through is the reaction of alkenes with water in the presence of a strong acid now we're going to continue to use this, the example ethene 
and what happens in this reaction is that it is treated in the presence of water liquid or gas in the presence of a strong acid now in this case phosphoric acid is used at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and this forms the product of alkenes where they react with water in the presence of a strong acid are always alcohols in this case the product is a very common alcohol ethanol therefore alkenes treated with water and acid do know that the acid has to be very strong or moderately strong to form the alcohol right now based on the alkene or how substituted the alkene is depends on how the ease it is hydrated this reaction is known as hydration by the way hydration hydra which means water cool if the hydrogens were replaced by other groups say carbon or metal groups then the ease of the reaction would be less there will be less driving conditions but at this level um, the explanation to why substituted alkenes are easier to di sorry are easier to hydrate can be explained here but you just need to note that the reaction between alkenes in the presence of water liquid or gas or steam in the presence of a strong acid at a certain temperature will give you an alcohol okay now let's do a review we know that when alkenes react with hydrogen in the presence of nickel or a metal catalyst because they do vary at a certain temperature they give alkenes or variants of alkenes no this is known as hydrogenation it's a hydrogenation process also it is an addition reaction because we're adding more atoms to the reagent and alkenes in the presence of water in a strong acid at a temperature we give alcohols and there we go those are the two reactions that you will need to know at the C second and in part two we'll be going over reactions of alkenes concentrated sulfuric acid and then treatment with water which is indirect hydration and the reaction of alkenes with chlorine and bromine halogenation thank you and best wishes for your exam